another issue, another epidemic, cancer, touches all of us. And one of my favourite studies, one that's been totally ignored, came out in 2010. The President Obama is the US President's Cancer Panel Study. And this is 30, this study is done by 30, more than 30 of the world's best cancer specialists. And they looked at hundreds of peer-reviewed scientific papers. And what's really important here is that this idea that, oh, you know, cancers are bad luck, it's in your genes, that's not true. 80% of cancers are due to environmental toxins, especially chemicals and pesticides. The other environmental toxin which they acknowledged is radiation. And I think it's good that we've got speakers here today talking about the issue of cell phone radiation. It's something that we really need to, to deal with. But still, they say that you know, chemicals and especially pesticides are the main causes. They give really good evidence how this epidemic in childhood cancers are caused by pesticides. And what I want to show here is, you know, that was 2010, nothing's done about it. You get the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research into Cancer and they find that we still have a growing epidemic in childhood cancers. It's not going backwards, it's going up and not being recognised or acted upon. But all cancers are going up, or most of them. And particularly, we know that with, with this increase in cancers that for most of the world, the mortality, the death rate is going up. Now, some cancers, such as breast cancer, the rates of breast cancer are still going up, but if you're lucky enough to live here in the US or in Europe, the rates of mortality are going down because of treatment. But if you live in the rest of the world, the number of women dying of these cancers still going up because they don't have the medical facilities that those of us that live in advanced developed countries have. So this is a, a cruel epidemic that is still on the rise. Um, I just want to show you this. This is here in the United States, part of the same study, and this is looking at thyroid cancer. And I chose this because thyroid cancer is one of the cancers that the World Health, Org World Health Organization looked at uh, when they did their report on glyphosate, and we'll talk more about it. But once again, the yellow bars are the number of people who are being diagnosed with thyro thyroid cancer. I want you to look at the, the green line. We'll go back to the 1970s here. And the green line is the trend rate pre-1990s. And what you could see was thyroid cancer, the levels of diagnosis were fairly steady, just going up and down a little bit, but they were level. And then in the mid-1990s, it skyrockets. And the red line is the increase in, in Roundup and glyphosate. And the blue one is the increase in the growth of GMOs, Roundup Ready GMOs, because they're related. The, the, um, the increase in glyphosate is due to the increase in Roundup Ready GMOs. And once again, when we did our probability analysis, it's a one in 10,000 chance that they are not linked, that it is an accident. A year after we published that, the World Health Organization published its study showing or classifying Roundup or glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup, as the second highest 
car level of being carcinogenic. And I, and I need to explain that because what people hear, oh, it's probably carcinogenic. They said it's probably carcinogenic to humans. What, what this level 2A means, it is definitely carcinogenic in animal studies. In this case, they found that it causes cancer in rats, mice and dogs. And there's a range of cancers, including what I wanted to show you was thyroid cancer. The, there is limited evidence of it causing cancer in humans, and this is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is where at the moment, according to Jeffrey Smith yesterday, the amount of people suing Monsanto fire is up to 45,000 now, for getting it. Yeah, and let's... And I'd like to also say, I hope this is the start of more court cases for more pesticides too, that hurt them where it really, hit, you know, hit them where it really hurts. So, look, I just explained again, that the highest, highest level for a carcinogen is type one, and that's where we have lots of evidence in humans. So for instance, asbestos. Of course, it's still not banned here in the US, but it's banned in most other countries in the world. Um, smoking, drinking alcohol. Benzene, you know, there's a whole range of these compounds that we know definitely cause cancers in humans. When they did this review, a lot of the toxicologists wanted to give Roundup the, the highest level of causing cancer, but there's this sort of argument, so they knocked it down a notch. But what I'd like to say is when you see studies that something causes multiple, cancer, multiple cancers in multiple animals, you can bet your bottom, bottom dollar that it causes cancer in humans because, believe it or not, we are animals as well, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> somehow something's going to cause cancer in animals but not in us is, is, is an a absolutely ridiculous idea. Yes, this thing causes cancer. It's clear. <laughs>